So now uh, for the second session, uh, we have different topics relating to assets and liabilities. Uh, we would be covering specifically seven standards within a span of two hours. Uh, we will start with uh, property, plant and equipment and intangible assets. After that, we will move on to investment properties. Then uh, we will focus on the impairment of these assets, the non-financial uh, assets. After that, we will go to the Indus 116, the new standard on leases. We'll spend some time on leases and understand what kind of changes have been brought about and that has become like a very talked about and very important standard. And we will uh, wind up with uh, topics on borrowing cost and uh, provisions, contingent liabilities and contingent assets. So without further ado, I'll start with the first topic of this session that is India's 16 property, plant and equipment. So when, uh, whenever the word asset comes to our mind, I think automatically the mind goes to any tangible asset or any kind of property, plant and equipment that exists in all the financial statements. And generally it is seen that this is the highest amount of the asset that is appearing in a financial statement whether in the form of land, buildings, plant and machinery, furniture and fixtures, office equipment, vehicles, all, all these are classified as tangible assets. Mm -hmm.